for Blackberry residents Connie Farley and Jonathan Prater. August 30th will be a day they will never forget. I had my two grandchildren. We were in my house doing our normal Monday routines, washing clothes. It was raining. Um, my granddaughter come running and said, Mimi, I see a building in the creek. Uh, but my wife woke me up and told me that the water was starting to get up. And uh, I looked outside and it was just starting to break the top of the bank over here. And I told her, well, you know, grab, grab a couple outfits, grab the kids, let's go. Just around noon, flash flooding caused the creek along State Highway 1056 to overflow, forcing many residents to seek higher ground within minutes. The creek was starting to come across the bridge above my house. And my daughter had worked a 12 hour shift for third on third um, at ARH that night. So I run as fast as I could to her house to get her out of the bed and so that we could get the, the babies and leave. And by the time we got back to my house to get my car, we were surrounded by water and we had no way to get out. So from there, we started making preparations and when the door busted open, it was like a big wave to start coming through and we took off and run to the attic. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. After retreating to her home's attic, Farley says she attempted to reach 911 and failed, forcing her to reach out to Facebook for help. The babies were screaming, crying, and it was just chaos. And we just started praying, and it's like God put his hands around us and said, everything's going to be fine, and the water started receding. Although escaping the flood, residents Farley and Prater are wondering if they'll receive help. Well, definitely, you know, some help. Uh, we have spoke to a Red Cross representative already, and we've contacted the uh, local emergency management. From what we understand, there's not enough total damages or anything for FEMA or anybody to come in and help. Anything that FEMA could come in and help us, um, you know, we need it. You know, there's not enough money in the world right now that can replace a lot of things that we've lost, but you know, on other instances, we can, you know. It'll help us to build back our homes, put new walls back up, uh, get us furniture, get clothes, and things like that. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.